Hi guys, good to have you all back. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year guys. I hope you all had a fantastic New Year's Eve. It is January, so I have my January flip over junk journal on my desk. Let's start creating. I am excited. So I have a plan for today. I am going to show you what the inspiration for the plan is, the supplies that I'm using, and uh, let's, let's start creating. So here's where the inspiration came from, guys. This is my um, flip over, my January junk journal flip over thingy. I'm going to link the video below, guys, because it's a, it's a really, really cool one. Um, so I, it was inspired by the first page. I'm going to start with the first page, why not? But it's half a page. It's actually a vintage bingo card. And I want to extend it with something. And then... Um, this week I had my eyes checked out by a very good friend of mine who is an optometrist or optician. I don't know the correct um, English word, guys, but one of those. He makes glasses. So I had my eyes checked really, really well. And um, my glasses are being made as we speak. Uh, he knows that I am a paper crafter because so is his lovely wife, who's also a very dear friend of mine. Um, and she uses these small little pouches envelope pocket thingies that the actual glasses probably came in so he gave me a whole bunch i'm really really happy <laughs> and they're cute i think they're just fantastic you can um, decorate them and what have you so my idea was to use this to make sort of um flip up pocket thingies i don't know guys but i want to use this now i realize that only my very good friend probably has these <laughs> But you don't. So we're going to make some ourselves. Here's what I've done. I took one apart carefully. It ripped here and there, but that's okay. Put all sorts of measurements in. Tried to recreate it. And it did work. But it wasn't simple. Then I thought I could simplify it. So I simplified it. It's going to look easier than this whole thing. So I want to make these eyeglass pockets envelope thingies and you can make them from all sorts of paper yeah i want to decorate them attach them with something really cute and uh fill them with with even more cuteness <laughs> that's what i am what i'm thinking okay so that's the inspiration let me show you the supplies that i'm using so here's what i'm using for paper guys um any paper will do. I wouldn't recommend very heavy scrapbook paper. Something that is heavier than, uh, let's say, 200 grams. Uh, I wouldn't use this. But you could use book pages, copy paper, digitals, uh, something. I am going to use 6 by 8 inches. I need a piece of paper, 6 by 8 inches. Preferably... Uh, double-sided but not necessary at all if it's single-sided you will only see this a bit the flap um that closes up this is what you will see if it's just a uh, single-sided so for paper i'm actually going to use a uh, reminiscence the book six this is from elizabeth craft designs um designed by esther glass i've had this book in my collection for a while now and these are just you know books that i hoard i think i have five of them different ones and i've used two or three <laughs> pieces of paper out of it i just hoard them because i love them okay so i'm going to use um two pages out of this book but by all means guys paper six by eight that's what you need now for deck for the actual decorating i don't know yet guys it's, you know labels poster stamps maybe some stamping i have no clue let's find out um for the other tools, you will need a scoreboard. You'll need a scoreboard. Maybe you have the Tim Holtz paper trimmer that has a scoreboard in it. You have a small one or a big one. You could use a small one on this. You don't need a big one. So a scoreboard. Then, you know, the usual suspects. Um, glue, scissors, ruler and a knife, pencil. A corner rounder. Not necessary, guys. I'll probably do some distressing inking with my recently rediscovered favorite color, Freight Burlap. I really love that color. And I am going to uh, put on, uh, on the flaps small book plates because I have a gazillion of these. Well, not a gazillion, but a lot. And I just want to use them. I want to put on a small book plate here and yeah. Not necessary. Use a label. You could also use a label. And uh, some small eyelets too. Uh, those are um, 
brats love, not eyelets. <laughs> Some small brats to attach them, but also not necessary. Now, I might come up with all sorts of lovely other decorating, but these are the basics. So you need a piece of paper that is 6 by 8 inches. Yeah? Um, glue. Scissors. A scoreboard if, if you have one. Or um, a ruler with measurements on them, so you can sort of, you know, take down measurements and... Do this. I uh, Yes, it sounds daunting. We're going to do measuring. Guys, I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. Yes? Okay. I'm going to start with making the envelopes. I have chosen two pieces of paper. It was very difficult because they're all very beautiful. Two pieces of paper. I cut them six by eight inches. Kept the scraps, of course. Yes, because those are lovely. Guys, you could use book pages, packaging material, whatever you want, um, lovies. Now, this is the original one. Um, I'm going to make this different. Yeah, because this actually has sort of, it closes up like so, the flap that closes uh, from, well, left to right. But I'm going to make one that closes from the bottom to the top. So it's going to be flipped up. That is what I'm going to do different. And I want this flap to be a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. Okay, yeah? Uh, take out your piece of um, 6 by 8 I'm going to put it on its side first. Yes? My paper is directional. I know. Most of it is going to be upside down. Don't care. Am I? No, I'm going to do it so. I'm going to do it like this. Yes. Which means that, because this is going to go flap up, this will be the right side up. Oh, yeah. Good job, me. Good job. <laughs> okay. First, I need to make this flap. Now, on this sort of envelope, this was way too big. My flap is going to be one and a half inches. So I'm going to score at one and a half inches. going to be the flap that closes this bit yeah then we have a whole piece left that i need to divide in two right okay so you could either you don't even need to measure guys you could also do just this <laughs> just do this just fold it up until the score line if i am correct this is um three and a quarter <laughs> If you want to do measuring, three and a quarter, three and a quarter. But you don't need to because you just need to fold it up until the line here. Simple? Very simple. So, one and a half inches and then fold it up. Okay, now we're going to put it on its other side. There you go. I want to make gussets on both sides. See, here's a gusset like a, a W or an M or, you know, a this bit. Here and here. Six inches. I want the actual pocket thingy to be three inches. So I'm taking off three inches from six inches. That will leave us with three inches. And I'm going to divide this in two. So one and a half inch here, one and a half inch here. So I'm going to score at one and a half here. Yes. And here. Now, if you don't want to do all the measuring, just guys, flip it over. <laughs> flip it over. Very easy because it's symmetrical, yeah? So one and a half inch here, one and a half inch here. But I want to divide it in three. So one and a half divided by three because we need to make sort of the, you know, accordion fold. Not harmonica, accordion fold. So uh, I'm going to score at a half and at one. So we have half inch, half inch, half inch. Half inch, half inch, half. Yes. Three times half is one and a half. Going to do the same on the other side. Actually, this isn't even necessary, guys. You could also uh, fold it by eye. Just score at one and a half and then do the other part. Okay. I made all the scores on here. Now, uh, I don't have my glasses yet, yet so I, I do sort of see where it is, but not really. I'm going to take out um, a pencil. And sort of draw lines where we need to make some cuts, some snippies, yes? Guys, I'm going to make another one as well. I'm going to do this again. So don't worry if you can follow along. We're going to do it again. Let me take out my pencil. 
So I drew on some lines. I'm hoping you can see. Yes, this is the fold. This is one and a half, one and a half, yes. And then this is the flap, one and also one and a half. And then this is the part that folds up. So lots of folds. What we're gonna do on the top, I'm going to take out this square, yeah? So the fold, the one and a half fold here and the one and a half fold here. So this square also on the other side. And again, on the bottom, the one and a half up until where we folded it. So this whole piece here, I'm going to take out. So I'm going to cut it. Now I'm rubbish with scissors, but by all means guys, it's very easy. Use your scissors. Cut here, up until this line, and then cut here. Way too lovely to throw away, so I'm gonna keep it. I use my pencil just in case I wanted to uh, erase where I drew the lines, which I probably want to do because look at that lovely scrap, isn't that fantastic? Love it, love it. You do hear some um, fireworks noises in the background. It's actually here, it's still 2023. I knew I wouldn't be able to film uh, January 1st. <laughs> so I'm filming this December 31st. So we need to do all the celebrations. At midnight. There we go. Taking out this one. Straight as possible. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Yes. I'm not going to throw it out. No, I'm going to erase it and use it somewhere. On a something. This one. Uh, guys, you can do this with scissors. I am going to take out my scissors because I need to mitre uh, something. Okay. Now it will look like this. Like sort of a cross. Yeah. Okay. Are you done cutting? Yes. Let me show you what the next step is. Before I do all the folding, I'm going to miter something, which means I'm going to cut off the tiniest bits here and here on these flappies on the outside. Like so. See, just it needs to be a tiny bit, guys. Not a lot on the top and the bottom. This will work better with the folding. And you'll be sure nothing will peek out on the top. Yes. Okay. I'm going to round corners. Not necessary at all. Now this is the flap on the top. I want to use the bigger setting on the flap. And a small setting on the bottom that, bottom that will fold up. So I'm going to take out. Uh, I'm going to use 10 on this. My 10 millimeters. And I'm um, even going to do four on this. Am I going to do four? Lots of loud bangs. I'm so sorry, guys, if this bothers you. It bothers me. Yes, just, you know, just a this. Okay, let's do all the folding. This folds up. Yes, this folds down. So actually, it's going to look like this. Yeah, but then we need to make the accordion, not the harmonica. Accordion. So I'm going to fold it in on the last score, then fold it back on itself and then back again. Yeah? Now be sure, guys, that this part doesn't stick out over this part. Just, you know, adjust it a little bit if necessary. So, small sort of accordion thing. Also on this side. One, two, three. Well, that worked out perfectly. See? Now we have like a jumping board. <laughs> Looks like this. Yeah? Do you want to do inking? If you want to do inking, let's do the inking now. Before I glue everything down. I'm using frayed burlap. This is going to be on the inside, so you won't be able to see it. So I am going to do these edges here and here. Yeah. I'm going to do the inside of the flap of the pocket. This is actually the only part that is going to be upside down from this angle from this side everything's upside down but that's okay uh i don't have to ink this because that is going to be flipped up so i'm going to flip it over oh my gosh i'm so sorry guys idiots we're not at war <laughs> it's just 
just, you know. Our fireworks in the Netherlands are lots of loud bangs. And then some lovely sparkle ones. But mostly loud bangs. We like to go out with a bang. And then this on the flap. And whistles. Bangs and whistles. Okie dokie. Yes? All inked up. You could ink this. I'm not going to. Are we done? Yes. Take glue. Take glue. I'm using art for this. But by all means, guys, use um, a glue stick. Or glue tape. Or whatever you have at hand. Be sure they're on the inside. Yes. And then glue them down. Ta-da. Cute. Oh, should have inked this part on the top. Ink the part on the top. <laughs> can I still reach it? I probably can. Yeah. Perfect. Lovely little cute pocket. We made gusset. So this will actually hold uh, <laughs> normal eyeglasses. We're not going to put in eyeglasses. But it will hold a lot, guys. It will hold a lot. Oh, I love it. Look at that. I just, you know. And we're going to do some decorating or or something. Let's make another one. So, we're back with the other pocket. Again, I want this to be, uh, well, straight up. So, I'm going to flip this over. Yeah. This is going to be our flap. This piece, which is one and a half inches. Guys, score at one and a half inches. You can do all sorts of measuring. Or you can just fold it up. To the line where you scored. Maybe a little bit below. That's all right. Okay. Then. One and a half inch. One and a half inch. So first I'm going to score at one and a half. Yes. Flip it over. One and a half. And I'm going to divide the one and a half by three. Which means. I'm going to score at half. Half an inch. One inch. Same on the other side. Half an inch. One inch. Now, if you want to make these a sort of, let's say, coin envelopes with gussets in another size, just, you know, implement this idea and then on a bigger scale. Let's say you want to have this four. Yeah. Then have this eight wide. And then make these two and divide it by three. Not even necessary, guys. I think if you make the gussets, the this like half an inch, have this bigger, have it taller. Just, you know, as long as you have a this. Okay, again, guys, I'm going to cut things out. I'm going to cut this part, part out. Here and here. So this part I'm going to cut out. This small square on the top. I'm going to cut this out. This one. And this one. Yeah? Cut like the the four corners basically so i'm gonna do this and um then miter it let me cut it out first so i need to do some sort of mitering and rounding corners again i'm going to miter just on the top cutting it at an angle just a bit guys works better with the folding So on all four of these and then rounding corners as per usual not necessary at all big one on the flap on the top and i'm gonna do the smaller one over here on the part that flaps up yes we're gonna do the folding i'm gonna start with the sides fold it in fold it back fold it in yes I keep wanting to say harmonica. Harmonica. No. Accordion. There we go. There you go. Yes. This is the flap that folds down. This is the flap that folds up. Yeah. I'm going to do the inking. And then the gluing. Inked everything. Did not forget to ink this part uh, this time. I did, you know, did a this. But <laughs> that's quite alright because I love me some grunge. Okay. Add glue here. 
Once you make one or, one or two of these guys, it's going to be very, very simple. So you could actually mass make these. And use them in all sorts of other projects than what I'm doing now. Yeah, make notches in them or, you know, have closures on the top. Okay, so now, now I have to. Tada! Yes? Um, I'm going to attach them, of course, on my journal. On my journal. But for this, I am just taking out this. Why? Because, you know, there's rings on here. I'm going to take it out. Much easier for me uh, to work on. So I'm going to take this out. See how I'm going to attach it. I think I want to even make sort of a closure on the top. Let's find out. Let's find out. Taking this one out and see how we're going to attach it. And also decorate it. Okay, so before I sort of attach them, I want to decorate them. Now I know I'm going to attach them like so. So no need for decorating here and here. Unless you're just using this as a standalone. And by all means, guys decorate it um i want to have the book plates on here <laughs> i just think it looks cute however i do want to put something in and i have all the scraps left um from you know the two pieces of paper i think i want to use this to make something lovely here and this to make something lovely here and then um i'm going to sort of switch this around i'm going to add this here and then this here yeah but also, I want to do some stamping. Uh, that I'm going to do first. Now, I've been going through my, my stamps. And I just, you know, I just love these. These are from Lorna. Ta uh, Lorna, tailor-made journals by um, uh, Creative Expressions. And I've used a couple of them. But not all of them. And they're amazing. So I'm going to use them. So I'm going to use this one that says Antiquities. Well, I think it says Antiquities. I'm going to have this one. Here. Now I tried I tried it out guys because I didn't know how the, um, uh, the color and the paper would work. I'm using uh, morning mist because there's lots of grays on here and it worked out fantastically. So that's what I'm doing. Antiquities. Just here on the top. Does it fit? Well, it's crooked now. That's okay. Well, it's okay. Actually, okay. And on the other one, I'm using ooh, Nouveau Taste. Antiquities and Nouveau Taste. Right. Very old stuff and very new stuff. Even though this is also sort of antique. Oh, yeah. That'll look lovely. I'm again using a morning mist. I could do something blue, but no. I'm going for gray. New stamps have not tried these out. Well, not all of them, just a couple of them. Here's the problem, this is already folded. I'm gonna try to sort of fold it back. Oh yes, that was smart. Uh, on the top, because I want to have the book plates. Oh, isn't that cute? Love it. Okay. So I need a piece of this. Am I just going to cut it? It needs to be smaller and shorter. How much shorter? Oh guys, I'm so rubbish at this. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm gonna use this line as a guide. Cut a little bit here. Will it work now? No, still way too big. Uh, I'm going to take something off here. Will it fit now? It will! Do you want to do some inking or stamping? or? Oh, it's going to look so cool. Um, no, you're not going to see the edges. So I'm not doing any inking or stamping. What was the other one that I wanted to try? Um... This one, yeah. Now I know the size that I need to cut it. <laughs> so I'm doing this. Here. Here. And here. Doesn't need to be straight, straight lobbies. Yeah. 
Too tall. Way too tall. Oh my gosh, stop it already. And these are children, not adults. I am not a parent myself, so I cannot say anything about anyone parenting. But honestly, <laughs> it'll work. Okay, I'm going to put them on with the tiny brats that I have. Not these ones, over here. Tiny, tiny ones that will hopefully fit. Yeah, they will, because you already use some of them on the front, lovely. Can I use these? Do these fit? They do. I have this here. Hopefully a little bit straight. That'll be lovely. Yes, yes. Put something soft and squishy underneath or, you know, be daring and just do with this. <laughs> now, if you don't have these guys, just put on a lovely label. Right, um, the blue one. It is just all sorts of cool, right? Is it too low? Can we still flip this up? No, we can. We can. Perfect. I'm going to do the same, guys, with the other one over here. Both of them are on. I want to do a little bit more decorating. Um, I have this piece of scrap, this piece of scrap. So I want to put this here. And uh, this says post something. Something post. I'm going to put this underneath like so. Just to make a, a tiny collage. I might add a something here. Do not know yet. Um, uh, I want to have this one on here. However, there's lots of space left. And I have my stamps out. So why not? So here's what I'm doing. Love this over here. So I'm actually going to use the stamp that says La Boutique de Fleur. And I just want to have on La Boutique. Yes. Here's what I've learned over the years, guys, uh, with my stamps. I love my stamps and I try to get the most out of them. Don't limit yourself to the complete image. Just take a part of it. La Boutique. La Boutique. I'm going to cover up. The, like so, mm, that's not straight. La Boutique, it doesn't matter if it's not the clearest stamp. I'm gonna have it on the here. Oh, will this work? Because the plate, the book plate is there. Oh, that wasn't smart. I'm hoping it goes on. It does. A little bit too much ink, but that's quite all right. Uh, and I want to put another one on there as well, a part of this uh, perfume bottle. Cool, right? Yes. I think so. Put on way too much ink. On La Boutique. But it'll dry. Um, just a part of it. There we go. Great job. What happened there? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I'm just going to put this here so you won't even notice it. What happened? I don't know. Probably something to do with the book plate. Well, that's quite all right. I still like it. Still like it. Um, I'm just going to glue it on. Do we need uh, maybe a tiny piece of something there? Mm. 
there we go. And I'm going to put these two on. This one goes here. No stamping on this one? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yes. Now this will probably fall out. Will it? Mm. I think I'm going to add the tiniest bit of glue to it. So it will stay in. They are made so that you can sort of take stuff out and put other stuff in. I don't think I want to put other stuff in. But because I also glued it just straight to the... Is it coming out? It's not even coming out, so it's okay. So it's okay. Oh, well, it's coming out now. <laughs> no, it's okay. Sticking out. There we go. Do not look at the back. Lovely stuff on the back. There we go. Yes? Done with the decorating? I think so. Let's take out the bingo card. I'm not going to do a lot to the bingo card. I just sort of inked all around it to age it up even a little bit more. It is a vintage one, probably from the 70s, maybe maybe early 80s. Yeah, um, I have decided to make these sort of pocket thingies um, flip up. So I want them to flip up and close up here. For this, I am using this. Now, guys, honestly, I don't know what these are called. I just have a couple of them. That I found uh, in thrift shops or I got in Happy Mail or what have you. So I'm not going to name what it is. I don't know. It's a thingy to close stuff up. Well, that's what I think they used for. But I could be mistaken. Yeah. So I'm going to put them here. Flip this up. And you can twist them. You can actually sort of twist them so they will open up. Well, that is the idea. Also, I took out two tiny, tiny hole reinforcers to put on the tops in sort of the same color. I'm going to do that first. Do you want to ink it? No, it's already brown enough. There we go. Just putting on small hole reinforcers because I'm not going to do any other uh, decorating to this. I was thinking about stamping, uh, but these bingo cards are coated a little bit and it I think it will take forever to dry. So I'm not going to do this. There we go. Yeah. Also, I'm going to attach this here, guys. Also, I was thinking, why not make this into a pocket? Yeah? So, I taped off the where the legs are. And I'm going to glue them on. However, if you're going to flip them up, uh, you're going to see the backs of these. It will be the right side up. However, it was boring. And I did this. I just put on another stamp and a label. Also on this side, another stamp and a label. Now, I don't need them to go up all the way. I don't think this will look lovely. So I'm going to have them hang a little bit lower. I'm going to put the tops, align it with this, sort of. Yeah. So this needs to go here. Yeah. And then it will twist. Well, hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. But first I need to glue it down. I'm going to hold it straight, hold it straight, hold it straight. Yep. Oh, this will stick out. That's not nice. No. Well, then we do need to glue it up all the way to the end. Will we Will we manage with the... Oh, yes. It'll be fine, love. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I am going to glue it to this bottom. Okay. Put the glue here. On the bottom there. And on the side. Not necessary, guys. If you don't want to make this into a pocket, then don't make this into a pocket. And I'm going to glue it here will that leave enough room for this one? Oh, scooch it over a little bit a little bit tiny bit yeah okay yeah and then this goes here oh they do look cool very cool Bit of glue here and here. Okay. 
Yes. Is it on here? Yeah. Cool. Now we need to do this. <laughs> Will this work? I'm going to put it here. Yes. I'm marking it again. There. Making a hole. Now these legs will be uh, visible on the other side, but I think that's going to be fine. I have no clue what I'm going to do on the other side of this paper, guys. That's for another day. Oh yeah, it, oh, it does look really, really cool. I like it. And then you just do it this. There you go. Same here. You are probably a scrapbooker and going to tell me how what these are called. For sure. <laughs> I don't know. I have a couple of them. Punch hole here. Yep. Again, this turned out completely different than what I had in mind. I just wanted to make the envelopes and see how I was going to attach them. Well... Apparently, like so. Like so. Does it work? Hopefully, it works. Yes, you can. See, you can do this. Then you can do this. Will it still work? Yeah. Well, it's a little bit fiddly, but it it does work. It does work. See, flip it up. Put stuff in. Yes, of course, something will fall out. Oh my gosh, guys, these nails! I just knew. <laughs> But it will work. I really like it. I'm going to put it back in the, um, in the journal. Let's see how it looks. I put the card back. Guys, I had to put you at an angle. Because I want to show you how it would look like on your desk. On your flip over journal. It is so cool. You can also sort of, you know, do it like so. Uh, I actually really, really like it. It looks so cool. I made, from the scraps, I made small tags that you can actually journal on. Um, same in this one, guys. Same in this one. There you go. And you have two big pockets. And I put all the scraps that I had left. I cut them to size and just put them in there. So you have uh, pockets here, big pockets here, that you can actually flip up. Now, the flipping up is easy. Uh, the twisting is, for me, not easy. But that's because of my stupid nails. Stupid, stupid nails. So there you, there you go. See? So you can put both of them up. Now, if there's stuff inside, just hold it close. It will work, guys. Nothing will really fall out. But I just think it looks awesome. <laughs> I just think it looks awesome. Yeah. Um, we have the back part of the of the bingo card for another day. I'm going to do some decorating here as well. And maybe do another flip down. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm going to do on that side. That's for another project. But that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. It turned out completely different than what I had in mind. But I really do like the end result. It's, uh, well, day one. Day one. Of this lovely journal. I'm hoping to do many, many more. Guys, I'll be back again this Wednesday. Less fireworks then, hopefully. I am apologizing again for all the loud bangs that you had to endure. Well, I had to endure them as well. <laughs> I'll be back Wednesday uh, with another project for this journal. But it's probably going to be completely different to what we have done today. So I'm hoping to see you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>